Mets manager Mickey Calloway has tried to stay positive during the team's recent slide. Robert Sabo It usually takes a while for a sports franchise to learn whether it has the right person to lead its team in good times and bad, someone who can make everyone believe there's hope when all seems hopeless. The Mets are quickly reaching that point with manager Mickey Calloway, who is starting to sound redundant when trying to rationalize his team's performance during a losing streak that keeps growing. After watching the Mets drop their sixth consecutive game Sunday, a 3-2 setback to the Rockies at City Field, Callaway was asked what concerns him most during the slide. The first-year manager dug deep into his baseball mind and said, Obviously, we need to score more runs, Callaway chuckled a bit. It was one of those uncomfortable laughs when the topic is more frustrating than funny. The Mets don't just play nine-inning games these days, they're enduring nine innings of disaster. The day began badly enough with the announcement pitcher Jacob deGrom was skipping his start on Monday and being placed on the disabled list. The Mets insisted it's only a precaution and expect him to pitch again Sunday, but given the club's history, it felt more like a setback. We want to put all the anxiety at ease, Callaway reasoned. Of course, there's always anxiety when it comes to the Mets and their health issues. A reminder of that came in the first inning when outfielder Yoenis Cespedes aggravated a quad injury while running from first to third after reaching on a single. He would eventually score the Mets' second run on a sacrifice fly by Todd Frazier, but Cespedes didn't take the field for the second inning. There was no prognosis on his return, but don't apologize for thinking worst-case scenario. If the medical report wasn't bad enough, the Mets remained woeful on offense. After being shut out in three of its previous four games, the home team looked like it might break out its slump by scoring two runs on three consecutive hits and a sacrifice fly in the first inning. Hold the hoopla. The Mets managed no runs and just two hits for the remainder of the game. A promising 11-1 start has turned into 17-15 and feels a lot worse, which has Callaway trying to keep it all in perspective and trying to stay positive. That's what good managers do. I don't think it's a surprise, he said of the slide. I don't think it's a concern. It's just part of the game. What I try to do as the manager is look at the way we are playing the game. I understand that this game is all about winning games and we are trying to win games every single day, but to win the most games you can during a season, you have to worry about things other than just the results that day. We're all trying to stay focused on that because in the end that's what's going to matter the most. You hear a lot around the Mets about sticking to the routine and the process, the stuff you don't necessarily see during games like maintaining proper nutrition, conditioning and practice habits. Kawhi assures us those things are where they need to be, we just haven't had the results. It's an easier sell in May than it will be in June or July if this keeps up. The distraction caused by Matt Harvey being designated for assignment has worn off, leaving the Mets exposed for their lack of hitting and thin starting rotation. Now Cespedes could be out indefinitely and DeGrom won't be pitching Monday when the Mets open a three-game series in Cincinnati. Callaway is quickly learning how fast a team can go from hero to zero in this city. His task now is to keep the negativity out of the clubhouse and keep the glass half full even when it looks dry. If he can do that, the Mets may realize they have the right manager quicker than they could have imagined.